All right, so we are going to talk about the five ways to speed up a reaction, except we're going to leave out the first one because I said it's not really um, on the regions. So um, this would be the example I would do if we were in school. I would do elephant's toothpaste. So here's someone else doing it. And we're going to talk about four ways to try to speed it up. And you'll see them speed it up and make it like a better and better and more exciting reaction. Okay, so here's elephant's toothpaste. Um, I think it's called elephant's toothpaste because it's like, big and fluffy and you put that color in it. So I guess it kind of looks like toothpaste for an elephant because there's a lot of it. Um, but so here's the beginner level one. Um, so um, the only thing they really use in this first one to speed it up is a catalyst. So they are gonna add some sort of, I think they use yeast or something. And again, a catalyst is just something that speeds up a reaction. Um, the reason they add dish soap is to add like some bubbles to this reaction. That's what we would do. They add the color just for fun. And they add the yeast as kind of um, like a catalyst to speed it up. Um, and it's a reaction that makes some sort of gas and that ga gas kind of blows up the bubbles and you get a nice little reaction. Um, it's cool, but it's not like amazing. So we're gonna say, all right, what could we do to speed up that reaction? Okay, so what they've done is they've added this better catalyst and they've increased the um, concentration of the hydrogen peroxide. So if we look back to our notes, is it gonna let me? No. Oh, it is. Okay, we said if you make it more concentrated, so instead of 10% hydrogen peroxide, we're gonna use like uh, 20%, and we're going to use a catalyst. All right, so we're gonna speed up this reaction, and hopefully that'll make it like a little bit more interesting to look at. So we've, we've added a catalyst, and we've uh, made it more concentrated. So 20% instead of 10% you might see it as two molar instead of like one molar. It's like remember, uh, molarity of two instead of molarity of one is more concentrated, so you should have a uh, better reaction. That foam is actually hot, so um, I would have let you touch it in the classroom and it does feel hot and it's kind of fun. Um, and it makes a big mess. I wish we could do it together. All right, um, what are they doing here? I don't remember this part. Oh, they do it in a sponge. Okay, I've never seen that one before. Um, and then we say, okay, well, again, what could we do to make this even more interesting? How do you speed up a chemical reaction so we can make it more concentrated? We said one of the ways to increase rate. The first one we said is a type of reactant. We don't care about that. We're going to make it more concentrated. We're going to use super strong um, hydrogen peroxide, which I've gotten on my fingers before, and it does like eat the skin away on your fingers. It hurts. So we're going to use a super concentrated, really strong hydrogen peroxide. Um, I like to heat it up. Like if you first take hydrogen peroxide out of the fridge where we heat it, um, it doesn't work that great. But if you heat it up, it works really nice. I also like to take uh, surface area. I like to take the um, potassium iodide crystals and put them in like a mortar and pestle and like grind them up so it's more like a powder instead of big chunks so we get better surface area. And again, we're using a nice potassium iodide catalyst. All right, so we wanna make it as fast as possible. And that's what we would have done if we were in class today. We would have used even stronger, more concentrated, a good catalyst, warm it up, all the factors for a nice fast reaction, and then you get that really dramatic reaction. So I'm always hoping that I can do it so good that it'll hit the ceiling, um, but it's always a struggle. Um, so again, four factors you need to know that, heat, that speed up reaction. I can make it warmer more concentrated, add a catalyst, and oh, more surface area. I could grind up the crystals into a powder. All right, so try to remember all five of those, and I'll see you in our next video.